Today I'd like to show you how to set up the railroad crossing using the lamplighter flash unit. Some people have found this a little bit confusing um, and one of the things I'm going to show you is how to move from using the quick set mode to using the CVs and you're actually going to find this a much easier approach to setting up the railroad crossing with the lamplighter FL unit. So let's go. Yeah. So here we have the power that goes off to the detectors and this other wire is the detector pickup that detects the train and that is inserted in here. Right now I have trigger ports 1 and 2 linked together with this wire. So let's go into the settings and see what we have. So here are our settings. We have port number 1 set to trigger as triggering number five, which means it's going to be flashing. Port number two, likewise, is set to trigger and flash. But there's another complete way of doing this. So let's go and set this up differently. We're going to go and fit in, press on both of those lower two buttons. And what's going to come up is C208. This is going to define the port that is triggering for light output number one. So let's see what it's set to. Well it's set to number one. That means port number one is going to trigger this. We could set it to zero or back to one. But let's keep it at one. But now let's go to back to C209 which will be the next one. This is now going to be asking the question what is going to trigger Port, light port number two. And when we press on this one, we see that it's trigger number two is going to trigger it. But what if instead we just go back and we press that as one? Now I've set it so that trigger port number one will trigger the output port number two. I no longer need this wire connecting here. I could take that away. So let's save that. And let's go back out and let's see if that works. So we're going to go up and we're going to move the train across the trigger. And there it is. So just to demonstrate, I've now pulled the jumper out of port one, trigger port one and two. So we only have one wire coming into here. And we're now just going to test that it actually is working. Yep, it's working all right. So thank you for watching this video. I hope it's helped you to understand how better to be able to set up the flashing crossings with the lamplighter flasher unit. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.